Hi friends, welcome to Paula MJ's Place. My name is Paula. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I surely would appreciate it. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, I did go to a couple of stores one day and then have seven that I usually frequent. So I did a couple one day and then the other, the rest of them today. So um, I did buy a few things that I needed and <laughs> things that I didn't actually need. But anyway, let's let's jump into it, shall we? My goodness. Um, my husband told me, oh, can you get me some kind of cake or something? So I got him this tasty cake. He likes these. These are cream-filled snowballs. But, I mean, I got this first, and it's so hot. It's all kind of crumbled and melty, but <laughs> there it is. The best buy date is not till August the 17th, so yeah, he likes these. And this one seems pretty fresh, although it's, yeah, he said it would be okay. So. <laughs> oh, I do want to show you one thing I got from the plus section. This is from my husband. He will use this for work. It's a foldable step stool with handle. It was $5, and it's 13 and a half by 10.6 by 9 inches, um, and they had black and gray. When I saw this, I texted him, and I asked him if he needed it for work. He said yes, he did, and that $5 was a good deal, so I went ahead and got it for him. Um, yeah. So that's the only thing I got from the plus section. They did have a lot of, a lot of, let me just say, a lot of really nice fall decorations. And Halloween too, they had those Halloween trees, you know, like the light up ones, the ceramic ones. I, I've i decided I'm gonna be collecting those for the seasons, but I don't really celebrate Halloween, so I left those there. They were cute, the white um, ghost one was really cute, but I just passed. I already have a fall tree from Hobby Lobby, a little one. Um, I don't think I show that to you guys, that lights up. So I got all the seasons already, but yeah. Anyway, let's get on with this haul. So everything else I show you today will be $8.25. I did get some bread. Um, I got this one. My goodness, I think it's the same one. Oh no, one is thick white and one is multi-grain. multi, multi, multi -grain. So the thick white, this one, um, thick sliced white. I got this at the regular store that I go to on Wednesdays that has the bread. And it says July 27th, so I went ahead and got it. And that's the only loaf of bread I was going to get. Then I went to another store which has bread as well, but they're always like picked over and they never have it fresh. Well, wouldn't you know, they had, so this is the thick, sli thick sliced white. They never have the good um, wheat, but this one is the perfectly crafted multi uh, thick sliced multigrain. The date on this one was August the 5th. So this one was August, July 27th. This one's August the 5th. So I'm like, I can't pass that up because that's a really, really good date. And um, I did film some footage for another walkthrough. So you'll see the bread there as well. I'm not sure when I'll um, be putting up the walkthrough, but just be on the lookout for it. You'll see the Halloween light up trees. And then they had those um, frames with a picture in it that are like 3D, so you turn one way and it looks regular and then it's like, the other way is like a skeleton or a zombie. <laughs> Those were interesting. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So I did, um, I purchased, they had three flavors in this Fresh Success, uh, what, what is this called, mix? So they had the coleslaw, I think they had the Asian mix and then the potatoes. I purchased all three. Yesterday I made the coleslaw. So you're supposed to do one bag of the pre-shredded coleslaw, which I did have, and three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise or salad dressing. So I had mayo, but you guys know mayo is really expensive. So I'm thinking, what if this isn't good? I don't want to waste three quarters of a cup of mayo on it. So I put like maybe half a cup and it was okay. Then I like, you know, mix it around, but it, look kind of dry so I went ahead and got that I don't know if you guys have seen that mayo at Dollar Tree it's the garlic mayo I just squirted a couple of squirts in there and it you know it made it really nice I think next time what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, do some kind of Asian dressing like salad dressing I think that would be really good and throw some walnuts and like apples or raisins in there but anyway um, I let it sit I, I did that and I let it sit for about half an hour and it was okay 
And then I let it sit for about two hours because it does say um, refrigerate for 30 minutes or more. So after about two hours, I tasted it. It was really good. <laughs> I didn't want to eat a lot because all that mayo in it, you know. So yeah, next time, like I said, I'm going to do it with a different dressing. But yeah, this is good. Really good. And it's just like you don't have to do anything. You buy the prepackaged coleslaw. You throw this in there with your dressing and mix it up and you're done. So yeah, I recommend that. I haven't done the potato and or the Asian one yet. The potatoes are in the oven. I guess I could do them in the air fryer, but I'm going to wait for that. And then, uh, oh my goodness, where shall I go? <laughs> Repeat purchase, sushi. You know we love these sushi gummies, but I was looking at this. And where's the sushi? <laughs> it's stuck underneath there. I guess it melted and got stuck there. I'm like, oh boy, I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Alrighty, and then I did purchase one of these. I purchased one of these before, but I purchased it in the cocoa butter scent. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people saying this will extend the life of your fragrance, especially if you use... Uh, I want to show you another fragrance in a minute. Anyway, I I tried it with the cocoa butter. That was kind of dumb of me. The cocoa butter scent, you know, mixed with your fragrance doesn't smell good. So I was like, what am I doing? So the unscented one I'm going to try. And people use this also, this or the Aquaphor. I don't know if you guys have seen that hack from, I forgot who the makeup artist was. I think it's Scott, Scott Barnes. He was uh, J-Lo's makeup artist and he did... He put the Aquaphor lip uh, balm underneath the lady's eyes before putting on the concealer and it didn't cake or crack or, or uh, you know, the fine lines didn't show up. So they, a lot of people are using that or this under here. So uh, I would just say be careful because that could cause like milia, those little white bumps under the eye when you get too much, uh, you know, moisture that doesn't belong there, like this kind of moisture. <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, I, I'm going to use it for that. I'm really enjoying, so this is actually, I'm, I'm blabbing on and I haven't even said anything. This is the Extra Care Revitalizing Body Balm Jelly Stick. So this is the unscented one. And this is really nice. Um, you can put it on your feet, your heels, uh, your elbows. This one is unscented, so, and I'm just going to get my arm ready because I do have some scent I want to share with you. So yeah, it's, it's moisturizing enough. And it's unscented, so that's good. So this is like, I think, a viral thing. Everybody's loving this. So you could do that, or people are putting it, like I said, instead of the Aquaphor um, lip balm, which is $4 if you buy it on uh, Amazon or Walmart, people are using just a little bit of this. You just put it under there and then kind of pat it in and then put your concealer. Uh, I tried it. There's no hope for me, y'all. They just ain't no hope for this one. <laughs> It's okay. Alrighty, now, moving on. I wanna make sure I don't have any repeat purchases before I, no, I don't. Okay, where shall I go? I'll go to this. Um, Oxidol Oxygen Orange. This is an all-purpose degreaser and spot remover. I think I saw, what's her face? Uh, Pookie? She was um, reviewing this and she said, she put it on her comforter or something and the stain came right off and she highly recommends it for stains. I bought it because I thought, okay, I'm on my last couple of ounces of my regular spray and wash stain remover. And I'm looking at this and it doesn't say anything about using it on clothing. I'm like, huh, what? <laughs> you know, this could pull the color off the clothes. I don't know, I'm not sure, but this is the one because I even took a screenshot of it when she was showing it. So. I don't know if I'm going to try that. I think I should have just left it there. Anyway, it does say, um, yeah, it does say, I can't see what it does say. So I was all excited and then I looked at it and I'm like, it doesn't say anything about clothing. It says, um, it's a perfect degreaser for, and spot remover for kitchen appliances, tubs, shower stalls, sinks and toilets, walls, trash cans, and a whole lot more. But it doesn't say what that whole lot more is. And if you look at it, it just shows like appliances and things. So I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to use this on clothing. Oh, lighting's off. But, I mean, I guess I could try it on 
some kind of old piece of clothing that maybe got greased up and see what happens. Man manufacture date, uh, what is that? 2124. So it's a big bottle, uh, it's 32 ounces. I did get the carpet stain remover. I haven't tried that one yet, but I will because I solely got it for that purpose and it's not something that's gonna go in the cupboard. I will try it and I'll try this too. And even if I don't use it for that, you know, I can use it for uh, everything else. Man, sorry, I am sweaty, it's hot here today. I got a, a late start, so it's the afternoon. Speaking of which, I have to get a drink, sorry. Okay, moving on. Um, I did get these Sassy and Chic mini sponges. I like these, it's only three pieces in here. I don't know if it's a good deal. I purchased these before. Um, I really enjoy using them, they're small. I like them because I don't really use the beauty blenders. I use powder makeup, um, but I like this for sometimes a concealer. I wet it and just kind of pat the concealer if it's looking a little wonky. <laughs> and this is by Sassy and Chic, as I said. And there's like uh, three different shapes with the small, and that's what I like. And I was only getting things that I needed until, no. Um, so I did find all stores that I went to this week. So I went on Monday, and then today's Wednesday. I went today to the rest of the stores. So the first couple of stores I went to on Monday were loaded with the Wee Dad Twist. They were loaded with all the different ones. So I got a few because I thought I got the ones I didn't have. I ended up getting one that I already had, so I returned it. But I'm gonna show you the ones I didn't have. Now, I'm not having much luck with this. I did use, it's a, it's the it's some shampoo in the black. This is, this is conditioner, but I have a shampoo. I used that. And then I did use uh, this thing. Weightless Defining Curl Primer, I think. Or I have some leave-in conditioner. That's what I did, leave-in conditioner. Because I was gonna do my hair curly today, so I did that. And then I also used this. I'll just tell you what I use and then I'll show them all to you. This is the two-in-one conditioner and primer. My hair came out so nasty. I had to re-wet it because <laughs> it wouldn't curl right. And now it's like all fly away. I had to like corral my bangs. So yeah, anyway, I'm not having much luck with that, but I'm gonna go through each piece that I did buy. So this is the Rally Curl, Rally the Curls, Weightless Curl Defining Primer, uh, replenish, replenish Form and Define. This is the number, it's only one little uh, water droplet, so it's not as hydrating as the black one, which is number two in line. And then the orange or red, this is orange, I think to me, I don't know. Uh, this is the most hydrating, supposedly. So anyway, I just got it because, you know, I could use all the help I could get, and I'm trying to do my hair curly again, but these things are not helping me, so. Uh, it just says, what does it say? Use as an over, that's what got me. Okay, so it says use as an overnight treatment. That's why I purchased it, because I was looking at it. I'm trying to make this video not so long, and I'm already, okay, so. Define and shape curls by applying to damp strands before styling. Use as an overnight treatment to help reverse signs of damage and restore your natural texture. So, although it has coconut, that's why. My hair does not like coconut oil. Oh, I never learn. Anywho, this is a, a how many ounces? 10.5 ounces. So, my stores were loaded with it earlier this week, and then today they still had some left. So, if you're into this and you have curly hair and you know might want to try it that you know that'll be up to you everybody's hair is different everybody's opinions different that's just how I got along with it I haven't tried this one this is the gimme it all or gimme it all yeah gimme it all <laughs> gimme it <laughs> five-in-one hydrating conditioner co-wash condition leave-in and style so this can do all that stuff and it's got three water droplets or three moisture droplets so that's the next in line as far as the moisture goes and this is, uh, it's a, you can use it as a co-wash to remove product buildup and rehydrate your curls. Uh, you can keep it soft. You For the next level conditioning, apply to clean damp hair in sections, leave in and rinse out, or to defy damage, you can, uh, let's see, apply to clean damp hair before styling to define your curls. You can use it as a styling cream to clump, create twist, outs or form super soft defined curls. I find that any of this stuff leaves my hair like I can't get 
my hands through it, you know. Not that you want to when you have your curls, but sometimes you just want to kind of fix it and it's very thick, thick, thick on the hair. All right, and then this one is the primer and primed and co. What does that mean? Oh, two in one conditioner and primer, prep, fortify, and revive. This one has the five droplets. And yeah, I used this one this morning and it was. I tried them all. I tried this one, has it, they have like a little tub of it. It's not a conditioner, it's a. Um, some sort of a styling agent and I didn't like that one very much either. I'm on the hunt for the conditioner in this one, the tub. I haven't found that one. Well, our stores are always late to the party for this. We're just barely getting more of a lot of a variety because I didn't see any the first go around, as much of a variety. And then the last one I got, which I thought this is going to be so wonderful. I, I use Shea Moisture uh, Oil, Shea Oil on my hair. And when I do, it looks so nice and shiny. It just kind of weighs it down. So I thought I would try this. This is called the Curl. I should just keep my glasses on because <laughs> I'm just sorry. This is the uh, Multi-Use Miracle Oil. Protect, hydrate, and shine. Ultimate moisture for curls. It's called Curl Rain by Wee Dad, and it's two, two ounces, 2.5 ounces or something like that. I can't see it. And I thought, this is going to be great. I could use this. I probably could, should get two, but I only got one. I tried it on my hair. I had what I had done was I used that Shea Moisture Oil on, on it when it was wet, and then I used a little um, gel, and then I blow dried it out, and it looked so nice. And then I thought I'm gonna try a little bit of this on it too, and it made it even look shinier and nicer. But it was just so flat. This, so I still liked it. I liked it a lot, but I it just smells. It stinks to high heaven in my own words that I usually use. It smells bad. It's like some kind of a fishy, nasty smell, like almost rancid, but I don't think it is. It just stinks. So I just can't get past that smell. So I'll use it and then that's it. Um, you know, I have my Shea Moisture, so it's not like, and you can see, like, see, you can see that the product is full in there. So, you know, use it your own, smell it first in the store. I would highly recommend to smell it before you buy it just in case you can't get past that smell. So there's that, and I did get some super glue, um, just because the original super glue, so this is the one that a lot of people use to, uh, I guess, to affix their um, faux nails, the press on nails, and um, I didn't have any, and I wanted to put the, I have this little um, heart that came in the, I, I bought some nail decals from Timu, but it, it's kind of hard, so you kind of, I, I guess you have to glue it down. Now, I didn't have any glue, so I tried the other crazy glue, and it took off the shine. It just looks like a dull thing, so I needed this for it. I don't use press-on nails, but I will use the little decal, so I'll try to, and this isn't a sticky decal. It's kind of like a metal, so that's why I bought this, and there's two in here. I haven't, I don't usually buy this one too much because it, always feels like it's dry and you get one use out of it and you never have you know you can never get anything else out of it um and then i did buy this i saw this uh my kitchen is like wine themed just because i like the mediterranean wine theme i don't really drink wine anymore and coffee so it says there's always time for friends wine and coffee and this is a flower sack towel i thought that was so cute and it went so well with my kitchen so that's why I got that. It's a thin flower sack towel and it is uh, 15 by 25 inches. You know what I've been on the hunt for? And I don't necessarily need them. I just want to see them. Is those little um, silicone mitts. You know how they have so many different styles? I've been seeing so many people. I mean, they've hauled them and then they've gone out of stock and then they get more and they have like Halloween themed and Christmas themed. We haven't seen not one of those in any of my stores. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Not that I need them, I just like to see what they look like, you know. So there's that. And then in the book section, one of my stores had a lot of nice books. Um, I did take some footage for that. This book looks like it's, I thought I picked a good one. Looks like it's kind of crushed or something. Okay, so I found this one. It says 36, 365 Gentle Reminders, Daily Positive Affirmations by Nat Natalie Dorm Dormady. I thought that would be good for friend mail. 
and it sells for $14.95 in the U.S. and $19.95 in Canada. And it says body, mind, and spirit, inspiration and personal growth. An uplifting gentle reminder for every day of the year. 365 Gentle Reminders is a beautiful book of illustrated uh, recovery affirmations that are filled with warmth and positivity. Recovery? <laughs> I don't know about that, but it just... Uh, so it says here, I hope I hope you know that you matter so very much. Oh, it just even shows the date. Okay, your feelings matter. So if you see down here, it says, what, May 23? And then it's May 24. I just thought it was cute. It's okay to take your... It's okay to take your what? Oh, no. Your feelings are valid. Yeah, okay. Ride your waves. You matter. So I thought that was kind of cute. I didn't really go through much of it, and I didn't read the back, so. But I thought it was nice. 365 days. Oh, and it even has a little page marker. I didn't even see that. Here it is. I'm just a bum bumbling, bumbling here. Yeah, I thought that was cute. Diet health and ASTD. What does that even mean? Okay. Anyway, that was cute. I did find this charger. Not that I needed a charger, but I thought it was so pretty and I could do some decorating. I usually put chargers like behind some kind of a decoration in a bookcase or whatever. Um, so I thought that was really pretty. And then I tried it on my table, and I thought, man, that looks pretty good. But this is like a champagne color. It just doesn't really go with my decor. But I don't know. I'm going to find a place for it because I thought it was beautiful, just beautiful. It just says charger plate on the back. I mean, Dollar Tree has so many different ones. And this looks like it has leaves and some sort of flowers. I don't know if it's going to be fall themed or what, but... And it's not gold, it's more of a champagne color. So I thought that was really pretty. And then when I put it on my table, it looked pretty good. And I thought, maybe I should have bought, you know, six place setting, but I didn't. And I, did, I went to that store today and I didn't, because uh, this is my first go around and I didn't even pay attention to see if they had more. I don't really need them. I have chargers, <laughs> a lot of different ones, red ones, wood color, white ones. Yeah, I'm good with that. But I just thought that was really pretty. Okay, and then I did find this, uh, what is this called? Power stick, the uh, body spray, the Brazilian mist. So this is the dupe to that Sol de Janeiro, which I already smelled. And I gotta say, I smelled the original and this is spot on. I think this smells even better than that dupe that I got from Bath and Body Works, which was nasty. This is not as strong and it smells to me better than the one, the dupe from Bath and Body Works. But as far as the original fragrance, you know, of course the original fragrance is a little stronger, but this smells quite nice. So yeah, my face looks so greasy. I'm sorry, I'm just like so hot. Um, so yeah, this is the 3.5 ounces and everybody's been looking for this. It's evidently a bonus size. So let's spray it and see. So what they're recommending, what people are saying is you just put some of this wherever your scent is going to go. I don't know if you do it behind the ears or like right here, or pulse points. And then if you spray your fragrance, it's going to make it last longer. So I thought, okay, well, this doesn't last very long at all. It smells nice, but it doesn't last very long. So let's give it a whirl. Yeah, see this, I tried it with the, the cocoa butter, which was silly of me, but that's all I had. The cocoa butter, one of these, and I could smell the cocoa butter through it, and it, it just threw it a whole scent off. But this is not bad at all, and they were fully stocked at one of my stores. I bought one just to see, you know, because I could, I would use it. I will use it. So yeah, there's that. And then let me just make sure I have nothing else. I have one more thing, it's going to be a taste test. So I saw... Kimmy from Kimmy's Kitchen and more uh, to do a taste test on this. So I've seen this, I don't know how many times, and I thought, 
I like peanut butter, but I don't need that. Then Kimmy did a taste test and she said it tasted like uh, nutter butter. So I was like, there's nutter butter cookies. I, was, I love those. I'm like, I'm going to buy some, you know. I finally found them again because I've been on the hunt ever since she did a taste test. And um, I'm going to give them a shot. I'm going to give them a try. So this was $1.25 and it's an 18, it's an 18 pack. Uh, 80 calories per serving so there's the whole I think she said that there were two cookies um, in each pack but this doesn't uh, the best buy is 9 20 20 25 so if you like these I would stock up I didn't find them at all at any stores except one and I looked okay so it's an 18 oh okay it's a little pack like that it's 18 packs and there's two cookies in there it looks like so let's give it a go shall we I really I really like nutter butter I wasn't much of a fan of peanut butter when I was younger but now I really enjoy it and I'm gonna hurry because this video is long already okay so oh it smells good like a nutter butter there's two in there so this is going to be 80 calories, 40 calories each. Oh, let me just give it a whirl. Mmm. Mm hmm Yeah. Really good. I thought these would be more like a peanut butter and cracker, like on the salty side, but no. Oh. Very, very good. I would give these a 9 out of 10. Yummy. I should have got more. Oh, well. <laughs> Such is life, right? Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you all so very, very much. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share if you're so inclined. Thank you for watching. Um, be on the lookout for another walkthrough sometime after this video. And until next time, be well and be blessed.